first order of business is to see if she can find her own pulse. So go ahead and, and that's not as easy as some people think. So there's a particular place to do it, but it, it's right here. Okay. I can feel it. You can feel it? Yeah. Okay. So now there's no pressure in the band whatsoever. And um, so the recommendation for the initial pressure setting is on, on that blue uh, piece of band. And in this case, it's 200. So if I go up to 200, I'm, I'm now at 200. And you still feel your mm -hmm. pulse? I still feel it. OK, and so if we remember that as long as we don't occlude arterial inflow, which would mean she loses her pulse, then we're going to be safe. And now I'm going to go up to 500. Still got a pulse? Still got a pulse. <laughs> so here, here, you know, this is, this is as high as the pump goes, and she still has a pulse. She's safe. And now we're going to uh, kind of go ahead and show that with our um, Doppler. <coughs> so th this is an ultrasound machine and one of the modes we can use it in is we can do what's called color flow and um, we can see what we're going to see is we're going to see um, her arteries and her veins and so right now I'm putting a probe over her brachial artery and she happens to have two of them. So, can you guys see the red pulsing right there? Those, those are her arteries. And now if what you do is go ahead and, and clench your fist and relax it. So the, the big blue signals coming back are her veins and having the, uh, having the venous flow back. Okay, relax a little bit. Okay. And we, we did all this with the, with the cuff not inflated. So now what I'm gonna do, is, and, and the other thing to do is to have a sense of the size of uh, the venous signal and arterial signal. So now I'm going up to 200, which is the recommended pressure on the, can you hold, just hold that? And now what you see, if I can do the Doppler right, is now you still have the arterial pulses going in, and now go ahead and rhythmically open and close your fist. Now all of a sudden the, the venous channels are even bigger than they were before. And so this is a demonstration of how we we put this venous blockade in place. We put the venous blockade in place and we distended the venous structure so there's a little venous lake in there. And then when she uses her muscle pump or her forearm muscles to clench her fist, she's ejecting the venous blood pass back past the blockade. Is that, is that clear? Okay, the next thing is we can just reconfirm what she had with her pulse where, go ahead and pump it up to 500. And we're still seeing the pulse right there. Go ahead and clench your fist okay. and, and still the venous, venous return. So this is demonstrating that the, uh, it, you can go ahead and turn it back to 200 because it's probably uncomfortable. No? It's not really uncomfortable. Okay. So here, here we are. And, uh, and now go ahead and let the whole thing loose. And all of a sudden all that blue venous blood is coming back coming back to the heart and so this is actually just that's a demonstration of how yeah. blood pressure cuff down. Thank you. yeah uh, now let's go through the same thing so the B strong bands are elastic and pneumatic which affords us both this uh, this muscle pump to function and uh, um, this is this is just a blood pressure cuff, but it, it's it's an example of a rigid system, a non-elastic system, where once I get this cuff in place, then she can't her 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 um, arm can't expand past uh, past whatever limit this is, 
and uh, actually, Mike, if you could, uh, you man the that thing, and I'll try to get a good signal here. So here we have we're back at the same situation. I can find that. There's those arteries, and now. And right now the cuff's not inflated, but go ahead, Mike, and inflate to 200. And so we've now blocked everything. There's no pulse anymore. And so this shows with, and I don't know how this feels compared it's to the other. It's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> and, um, and so here we have, this is, this is this venous. So now go down to, let's say 100. So now here the pulse is restored and go ahead and do a squeeze. And, and we have the venous. So this is, this is the conditions that we want to see for blood flow restriction training, where we have not impaired the arterial inflow and we've made the venous outflow associated with contraction of the muscles. But this is, now this is at 100 where with our bands, we had the whole 500 millimeters of mercury to be able to play with. Thank you. Uh, is that the maximum that that'll actually pump up to, no matter how hard you pump, keep pumping it to, on your bands? Right. Uh, anybody else want to try? See what their arteries look like? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But 